Hello and welcome to the, the Sandbrook Adventures. Adventures! Right, it's time for the third travel vlog here on this channel from our huge USA road trip. Of course, if you haven't already, head over to Theme Park Worldwide where you can see all the theme parks that were visiting this trip. And here on this channel, we're giving you a bit of a behind the scenes look at the trip, showing you the drives, the hotels, and also places where we stopped along the way, including where we're starting off today. We're here at some outlets, aren't we? I am so excited. They have got a Bath and Body Works outlet. I'm just going to stock up. <laughs> we're in outlet. Old Tuma at the moment in Iowa and uh, yeah we're going to be driving down to Kansas City tonight ready for worlds of fun tomorrow uh, but we thought we'll come and check out these outlets they're right by the Adventureland Park uh, that we've been to visit and had a great day and we thought well whilst we're here let's check out the outlets every time we go to Orlando we always go to the ones there don't oh, we? Oh I'm so excited. <laughs> let's go and have a look come and join us here on the Sandbrook Adventures more travel more sites more hotels and of course lots more fun coming up for you all. And this is how close we are to Adventureland theme park, right over there. And here's the outlets just here, outlets of Des Moines just here. So oh, he's looking forward to it. I know we'll probably be going first, Bath and Body Works, I reckon. You've I'll never been in one here. Yeah, <laughs> you love Bath and Body Works, don't you? Oh, We've been in them in the UK and it's all so around the world. Oh, so let's see what uh, Bath and Body Works has to offer here. It seems quite a nice setup just here. Yeah, similar to what you get back home with the MacArthur Glen outlets we've got some not too far away from us actually in Staffordshire yeah let's have a little walk around see what we've got well first they were in a shoe shop and yeah Charlotte's looking at Crocs just over here there what we go. do you think they're quite nice aren't they I don't know if these are cheaper back home though how much are they like 49.99 plus tax. plus tax so I think they might be cheaper back home <laughs> Crocs Rocking the glittery Crocs there, Charlotte. Crocs have come in fashion so much. <laughs> oh my God, look at this, what a throwback. Every day when you're walking down the street. Remember Arthur? Met, you meet Arthur. Hey, what a wonderful time of day. <laughs> I used to love Arthur. Oh, I did, there he is, just in there. <laughs> People used to say at school, I, used to, I look like <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Not really what people used to say to me, they're like, oh, here comes Arthur. That's what they used to say, it's just because he wears glasses. Or... Yeah, it's really nice here. It reminds me a lot of the ones in Orlando, Florida. Got the Nike outlet just over there as well. It's not Nike. It's it is nice. definitely it's Nike. Like the it depends how you say it, Nike. Tommy Hilfiger down here as well. Oh, they've got loads in here, Charlotte. Oh, you found it, she's running. <laughs> And here it is, Charlotte's favourite, the one and only Bath and Body Works. I tell you what, it's massive compared to the ones we've been in back home before. Look at the size of it in here. Like, it's huge. A lot of the items are 50% off as well. I mean, the price is better in here, Charlotte, than the other Way ones. better. All right, loads cheaper. There we go. Smells nice, I've got to say. Get me a basket. <laughs> I like the hand sanitizer I do. So you can also get the little holders here as well. There you go. Oh, look, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> I see what you mean now because in a lot of the other ones we went in, like they didn't have these ones, they were just plain, weren't they? Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> They've got the rabbit. Oh, they're really nice. <laughs> they got loads on them. Yeah, you put like your hand soap and stuff oh, God, in them. Got a burrito. What else we got here, Charlotte? A sausage dog. <laughs> wow. Hot dog. There's loads, yeah, so you get all these and then you kind of put them in the oh bottom. Oh my god, that is amazing. That's really cool, I do like that, and then you just clip that onto you, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you do, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Here we go, Charlotte's got a basket, she means business. Serious uh, business. <laughs> so all your hand sanitizers here, five for eight dollars, plus tax, oh, that's great. Like so much cheaper than back home. Well, we've been in Bath and Body Works about 15 minutes. We've spent an absolute fortune there, but I've just got a few beauties. So the first one I got was these hand soap, which is beautiful day. It smelled very nice. We've had these before, and there was there was just so lovely. Really good. And then I got the mahogany tweak wood, I believe that is. There we go. And then I got my five hand sanitizers. I've got loads of these at home, but I like to stock up. Japanese cherry blossom there. Lovely. I've got gingham gorgeous. Lovely. lovely. Then I've got fresh rainfall, champagne toast, and what was my last one? A thousand wishes. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Beautiful. The semi annual sale at Bath and Body like, Works. It's going to like £14, that's not too bad at all. Yeah, for all that. You can pay that for like one of these back home. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they're really nice. They are nice, fresh I love hands. Bath and Body Works. <laughs> there you go. I'm glad it didn't disappoint for you, and Charlotte. And then we may go back for the Crocs. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's been a couple more shops that they've got here. You know, you've got Forever 21 over there and Skechers. We like our Skechers shoes, don't we, Charlotte? I absolutely love Skechers. People always say they're cheap in America, but we've not normally found that. Some of them where they used to be, but because we're normally in touristy areas, maybe in here they might be a bit cheaper. Yeah, like in Orlando, they're not really any cheaper, yeah, are they? Not. We so. worked it out and there wasn't, so we'll see what they like. Yeah, we like our Skechers, don't we? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I was happy. But yeah, in my opinion, the prices seem similar to what you can get in Skechers back home. I mean, we've got the Skechers outlets that we go to quite a bit, and where I got these from, actually, that I'm wearing now. My one pair of shoes for the trip. <laughs> if I need any more, I can always get some out here, though. But yeah, I think the prices are quite similar, like $105 for those, 74 for those. Maybe it's because of the exchange rate as well. We're in another shoe shop now, looking at Crocs just here. <laughs> You like these ones, don't you? I really like these glittery ones. Yeah, them ones are a bit cheaper in here as well. Yeah, they are. But yeah, what you do is you get all these, don't you? And then you can yeah. attach so you them on if you want. Ratatouille there, like, Pixar collection. These are a good one, the Krusty Krab collection. <laughs> SpongeBob Square Pants. Stick them onto your crops. <laughs> oh, and the sun has decided to make an appearance today. It's been really cloudy and cold all day today. See so yeah, how this is nice, this is. But yeah, you've still got the fire on down here. It's lovely. A bit of seating down here with the flames. And there we go then, that brings us to the end of our visit here to the outlet, Let's see. Got my Crocs, I went for the Arctic blue, but I won't be getting any like the stickers to put onto there, they'll just be plain Crocs. They're nice though they are, yeah, I like the I blue. Like them. I mean you liked the glittery ones, but I, I think these are nicer. They might look a bit like childish if I have the glittery ones. I think these are better off with the blue. Crocs. And they were $53. Yeah, that was including the tax, so it was all together 53 so not too bad. They're a little bit cheaper than back home as well. Yeah, I think they're about 50 Back home, so I'm sure they're Fantastic. Right, we're going to be getting on the road shortly, making a couple of hour drive down to Kansas City. Um, but what we're going to do is get a bit of food. We're going to head to somewhere called Raising Canes. I've not been there for a few years. Really nice chicken tenders, and uh, yeah, it's so tasty there. So we're going to head there. Never heard of it. <laughs> Let's go, Raising Canes. And this worked out nicely because it was only a five minute drive around the corner. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. It's crinkle cut fries in here as well, which I like. Mm. I've never even heard of this before. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Yeah. What else we got here? Super cuts. We have them back home, don't we? Mm. And uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Loads of Dunkin' oh, Donuts over here. So many drivers. <laughs> right, let's go. Raising Cane's. Hey, <laughs> look at the mirror balls in here. Here we go. One to Raising Cane's. Famous Chicken Fingers. Yeah, $9 for a combo, including a drink just there. Not too bad at all. There we go, Charlotte's not having anything in there, are you? I'm gonna grab something like Get something on route. Yeah, you get the chicken fingers, gone for three. You get the crinkle cup fries, and you got a piece of bread just there. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. And yeah, here at the entrance to Raising Canes, we got some old coaster pictures just today. There we go, from a Benchland's retired coaster, the Super Screamer, which opened in 1999. And here we go, just over here, you've got Tornado, that debuted in 1978. There you go. Well, there we go, Raising Cane's, a restaurant specialising in chicken fingers. We need that back home. Come on, <laughs> let's see them come to the UK. But yeah, that was great. And yeah, for like $9 as well, it's like £7 for a meal. Like, brilliant that was. Really enjoyed it. I'll certainly be having another one of them this trip. Oh, delicious that was. And here we are then, back in the car, making our way down towards Kansas City. I don't know if we're going to see anything much interesting along the way or not. I think we're going to be mostly uh, on one of the interstate roads just here. So I don't know if we're going to see like small towns and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, the total journey from here is 148 miles. Um, Same at the moment, about two hours and nine minutes. ETA about 20 to 8 this evening. That's so, not bad at all. Yeah, it's all right, really. I mean, we left the park a bit earlier today because we've done everything. We've done the re-ride. Obviously, we wanted to make the most of uh, seeing some other things like the outlets as well. And so, uh, yeah, we're on our way. We've got some bigger park days coming up, um, so it's always worth it if we've done everything, um, leaving and going on to do other things, and of course having a bit of a rest as well, uh, where we can do. Uh, we know we've got some long park hours coming up at some of the bigger parks, where we know we're going to be at them all day. So if we've seen everything we want to at the smaller parks and done the re-rides, of course we'll uh, leave and do some other things. And here we go, we just crossed over the state line. Welcome to Missouri, USA, traveling through all these different states on our USA road trip. And yeah, they tend to have these rest areas in quite a lot of spaces. You can see them just over there. We've not had to pull into one yet, but yeah, they're not like service stations like you see back home. They're just rest areas. They've got toilet facilities. They've got loads of areas just to pull up and relax. What we have noticed, you don't really tend to get normal service stations as much in America, but they do have signs down the other side, Charlotte. The signs are really good. So there'll be a sign that says food. It will tell you all the food options, gas stations. Then you'll pull off and there'll be arrows saying, oh, McDonald's left 
or Taco Bell right so it's quite clearly stated what there is yeah so we like that actually that's it's brilliant really good yeah so kind of having lots of services I mean you do see them occasionally but not really not that many, many. Um, then yeah you kind of pull off and you've got like lots of different food in like a small kind of crossroads area normally um, and then sometimes there you'll find like big supermarkets and that sort of thing as well um, gas stations uh, but yeah they're all nice and easy uh, labeled off the road we've literally been following this um, for like 60 miles we're following it for like 130 miles of this journey mm -hmm. not much to see really along the way but uh, if there is anything of course we'll be sure to share it with you all yeah, not much else to see along the drive just there. But yeah, it was nice and chilled out. Not really any traffic or anything like that, which is great. We've arrived here tonight at Shawstay Hotel by Best Western in Cameron, about 45 minutes out of Kansas City. Yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. Here's our car parked beneath our hotel room. Yeah, brilliant this is because the good thing is we're actually taking in the luggage tonight because as we've been saying throughout this trip, we've had the smaller hand luggage and then we've kind of been loading up for about a week's worth of clothes, haven't we? Here. Yeah, it's ideal for us. Oh, this yeah. is so. Yeah, we'll uh, give you a bit of a tour around. So we'll park right out the front of the room, and here we go. I quite like these hotels where it's like this, and you have your parking space just out the front. Come on in. Here we go. Here's the room. This is good. Yeah, it's nice size. Wi-Fi speed's looking good from what Charlotte's uh, checked. Yeah, as soon as we get to a hotel, straight on it. <laughs> Internet speed test. There we go. AC was blasting out. It's the thing in these yeah, rooms. Get that off. <laughs> we don't need the AC blasting out. But a uh, little coffee table down there. There we go. You've got a nice seat over there too. There is room for two beds in here, but there is only the one. Let me just get that fly. There we go. Squat the fly. <laughs> I think you might have just flew in out to see when we had the door, door open. open. Yeah, nice uh, pictures over there at the back. Couple of old school uh, antique tables there. The bed looks quite antique as well, doesn't it? Yes. To be honest, but yeah, not too bad. We've got a big fridge in here. Microwave didn't have a fridge last night, did we? No, we didn't. Uh, and of course, you've got the desk, also very antique. But yeah, they have got the USB chargers built into the uh, the lights here, which is quite nice. Yeah, sure stay by Best Western. Here's your toilet area and sink and everything. Oh, we got two sinks, have we? There we go. Oh, bathroom. Yeah. Oh, this is quite nice in here. Some bath down there. Sink area here, you got two, which is good. Oh, like yeah, it's all right. Some nice lights at the top. Fantastic. Angel Soft, we've got there. There we go. Lovely. Angel Soft Professional Series. Cups. Little tissues just there. Ah. There you go. Little coffee maker. And that's our room. But there we go. That's going to do it for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been really nice having a look around the outlet. Charlotte uh, enjoyed that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I've got my Crocs, which is great. <laughs> yeah, you've got some Bath and Body Works items. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to bring them all in and have a good look at them. And we're going to be driving to World of Fun in the morning. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're only about 45 minutes away, which is good. So we'll see you tomorrow on the drive. So don't keep stress, we're going to be giving up all deep conversations at the Waffle House. <laughs> good morning. Did you have a good sleep, Charlotte? Oh, I slept so well last night. Yeah, it was nice. We spent like 13 hours in the room, didn't we? I know, so I slept lovely. Out. Yeah, feeling really refreshed, actually. And we're literally two miles away from Worlds of Fun. And so there's the park. Hey, we've done about a 45 minute drive down here to Worlds of Fun. Very boring straight road, it's not much to see. to see. But uh, yeah, here we go. You can see the skyline. We're coming off at this exit just over here. Yeah, I've been to this park before in 2019. Enjoyed it, but yeah, they've got a new ride that hopefully we might get to ride today. It's not officially opened yet, but there's been some soft openings down Zambezi Zinga, so we'll see how we get on. But yeah, we'll get a bit more footage when we uh, get down here to the park entrance. Here we go then. Here's a look at the Worlds of Fun skyline. Looking forward to it, Charlotte. Yeah, it looks like they've got some really good coasters. Yeah, here's a look at Mamba. Oh, and of course, over to the left there, you've got Patriot. That looks really right. good. Yeah, that's the B&M inverted coaster. It's a big one. Yeah, it is. Nice, colourful park, this one. As you can see on the logo, they've got a hot air balloon. Oh. And we're actually uh, coming up to that balloon just here. It's as we make our way onto the uh, parking lot. There you go. Yeah, it's a Cedar Fair owned part this one so yeah we've got our parking Turn included right. in the pass here we go on to worlds of fun yeah i always like showing you the skylines as we make our way into the park and there it is but uh, anyway that brings us to the end of this part we will see you later on when we're making the drive we've got about a three hour drive tonight so yeah a bit of a long, a long one, one into missouri ready for our visit to silver dollar city tomorrow Right then, we're back on the road after our day at Worlds of Fun. Unfortunately, it's not been the best of days at that park, has it, Charlotte? Oh, it's been such a shame today. Yeah, it has. I mean, we'll talk more about it over in the vlog on Theme Park Worldwide. We've got a combination of very poor operations, quite a big issue towards the end. 
yeah, it's just not been the most enjoyable of days, but we've got something to make up for it, haven't we, Charlotte? So I have got a frozen Dr. Pepper. These are so nice. And Sean has got a frozen Fanta. Oh, these, these are, are so, good. so good from McDonald's. Yeah, really tasty. The $2 as well. I wow. know, what a bargain. Absolute bargain. Anyway, we've got quite a long drive tonight. One of the longest continuous drives of the trip. About three hours. We should be getting there about 11 o'clock, uh, making our way down to Branson, uh, Missouri. Of course, we're Silver Dollar City. One 182 miles from this point. Uh, the good thing is, it's only just gone 80 park, so we're not going to be there like a ridiculous time. Um, we had a good sleep last night, but yeah, we'll uh, keep on driving down here. We'll get some footage if there's anything much to see, if we see anything. along the way. Look at all them cars down there. Oh my god, there we go. It's the first thing to see. <laughs> yeah, all smashed up cars. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, it's going to be getting dark within the next hour or so, but we'll see what we uh, if we find anything along the way to share with you all. Oh my god, we're just driving down the road here and can't believe it. Look at this car over here. Oh my god. Full of smoke coming out. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. What is, what is it? Is it his tyres blowing or something? At the back? Oh blimey. I don't know what that was. It was just his exhaust. It had all black oh, in that it. That was crazy. I think. Is he pulling in? He is. I should hope so. Blimey. Look at that giant man there. That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> I don't like, know what he's advertising. <laughs> it's like Pinocchio, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, well, we did the whole drive just there without stopping, and we've made it here to the Quality Inn with an indoor pool, as you can see just up there. Yeah, we arrived just before 11 o'clock, which is good going. Oh, I'm tired now. Look at the size of that right next to us. Massive. Massive. But yeah, we'll uh, go and get inside the room. Best and easiest, fastest check-in of the trip so far, that was, wasn't it? She was absolutely brilliant. It was so fast. We were in reception, less than three minutes. Oh, that's what we wanted after a nice long drive like that. She was really good and efficient. Just to get straight in, we're in the room by 11 o'clock, which is great. And the good thing is, we're staying in Ozark tonight, which is about 35 minutes from Silver Dollar City. Fantastic. Look at the size of this bed. Hey, and with us having two days at Silver Solid City, not really got much driving at all, actually, really over the next couple of days, which is going to be fantastic. Yeah. yeah. That bed looks amazing, like, that's that really appealing. Lovely. Big uh, leather chair just over there as well. There we go. <laughs> the light colours are doing my OCD in a little bit. Oh, that one's dark and that one's lighter, oh, yeah. but you know. <laughs> yeah, big freeze just over there. Nice TV, AC unit, which we won't be having on. Uh, here's a look in the bathroom. Quite a nice room, very spacious. Nice bath just around there too. Fantastic, but yeah, we'll get some footage on the way down to uh, really Silver Dollar. Really sign on another point. Go on. So basically it says due to the popularity of Get A Room Romantic house cleaning department, so people must be taking stuff. $60 if you take the sheets. You're joking. If you take the hairdryer, $45. The coffee maker, $50. How <laughs> fun is that? That's it, God. coffee maker, $50 for that. I was going to take the sheets, $60. <laughs> uh, look at this bed, we're going to sleep well in here tonight. Oh, look at that. Lovely, and on oh that note, God. we'll leave you to it and we'll see you on the short drive to Silver Dollar City. Good night, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning! Had a really nice sleep there, Charlotte, did you? Oh, I slept lovely again. Yeah, nice and fresh. That bed was absolutely It was massive. huge. I wish we could have one like that back home. Hello. Yeah, it was nice, that was. Uh, but here we go, we're on our way down to Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. And yeah, like I say, we're only about 35 minutes away from where we stayed. And uh, yeah, we're now 15 minutes away from the park, just thought I'd show you some of the scenery here. As we make our way down to Branson, all the way down here, you see loads of billboards, don't you, Charlotte? Yeah, there's billboards just advertising for everything. Yeah, all different shows, attractions, um, that are all down in Branson. It's a very touristy area, and it's really nice, actually, because as you can see, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, um, with all the forest around, and then all of a sudden, you end up in this really touristy area. That's where Silver Dollar City is as well. So we'll get a bit more footage when we get down here uh, into Branson. Hey, here we go then, driving back into Silver Dollar City after four years. I've been so excited to get back to this park, so I'm really happy to be here today. Looking forward to it, Charlotte. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Very well-themed park this is, and yeah, there's the entrance just there with the big axe on the top there too. Yeah, we didn't really drive through the centre of Branson just um, when we were coming in this way. However, stay tuned because we're going to have a little bit of a stroll around there later on and uh, yeah, show you some of Branson. But here we go, Silver Dollar City. Great to be back here. The location of this park is what makes it really special. And for what I remember, you actually need to go on a parking trolley. Love <laughs> that. that. From the car park, which is free, um, down to the entrance. Number two. 
Well, we had an absolutely awesome day today at Silver Dollar City. Oh, I loved getting back to that park. Paul's vlog will be coming up over on Theme Park Worldwide. We're back there again tomorrow, and we're literally staying a mile away from the park. It's only just around the corner here. And uh, yeah, we're here at the Best Western tonight in Branson. And yeah, here's a look at the room. Nice and spacious again. Yeah, two beds tonight. Just uh, yeah. hey, we have only had one the past couple of nights, haven't we? We had a big oh, one. That was a really good bed. The last <laughs> one it was massive. Yeah, fantastic. But so uh, yeah, we're going a bit more old school again with the decor in here but it's nice and clean and that's the main it was thing different because the actual hotel lobby looked quite modern but the, the rooms don't really match yeah it's quite funny at uh, reception there was a couple yeah. of dogs behind reception yeah, wasn't they there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah not too sure what was going on there but that's got a, an indoor pool with a hot tub here apparently i don't think we'll get time for it but it's got one there we go nice bath just in there as well quite a small bath Let's look at your sink area. But yeah, literally very close to the park, this one. Took a while to check in. This is one of the worst offenders tonight, yeah, wasn't it, this did. one? Basically, we checked in, and then she literally went down every single <laughs> thing on this list. Yeah, she went through everything on there. It's like, you know, have you, have you got a dog with you? I'm like, yeah. no, we're from the UK. I don't think we brought our dog. dog. But, it did take a while. <laughs> it did. But uh, anyway, we're going to go and have a bit of an explore now around Branson tonight. Because like I say, it's a big kind of touristy area. You've got lots to see around here. So we're going to have a look around there tonight and also tomorrow after the park and get a few bits in. And here we are then in Branson, Missouri. Yeah, really touristy when you get down here. Of course, Silver Dollar City is the biggest attraction, but there's so many other smaller things around here. I like the look of the showboat there, actually. That's owned by Silver Dollar City, but I'd love to do that at some point. But yeah, down here, we're going to a big drop tower, which will be good. And yeah, we just went past one of the Alpine coasts I was hoping to do, that I didn't do last time. And yeah, that's closed, which is a shame, but you've got all sorts of hotels and restaurants around here. I hop just over there, another quality in just off to the left, and yeah, we're nearly down here at this drop tower. And yeah, apparently, you just wear a seatbelt on this. So I'm looking That's forward crazy. to it. That's crazy. So we're down here now in Branson, and yeah, I just wanted to show you this. Look at the Titanic over there. Yeah, it's actually a Titanic museum closed now this evening, I believe. But yeah, look at that. Looks really cool, doesn't it? Half the Titanic there, not all of it, just half of it. And you've actually got the iceberg featured down at the, the side there too. The yeah, it's really cool, isn't it, that? It's so cool. Look at King Kong up there on that building. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Wow. Hollywood Wax Museum. That's so cool. King turn Kong. Right Cheryl Street, then turn right onto Ellen Street. Wow, here we go. I thought we've got to pull up and have a closer look at that. There we go, the massive Hollywood sign there. Empire State Building and King Kong with a crushed plane there in his arms at the Hollywood Wax Museum. That is awesome. Okay, you got an Oscar out the front down here too. Look at this, you got the fly ride over there, mini golf on that side. There is so many attractions around here in Branson. And yeah, we've actually done, I did a drop tower around here. We've just been to do an Alpine coaster, which is fantastic too. Yeah, there's a booster down there. So many attractions around here, there really is. But yeah, very cool that. Look at this. Oh, you know what this logo means here, viewers? We're back. Uh, Wendy. So I've been craving jacket potato and I've heard Wendy's do jacket potatoes and I've found one so I'm giving it another go. Charlotte's Wendy's experience wasn't the best last time was it but whilst we're here in Branson it was like three dollars wasn't it for that? That is good. It's is nice. it good? Yeah it's nice. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. It was like three dollars as well. Just try a jacket potato again. There you go. You've took the bacon off it though haven't you? You didn't fancy I that. I didn't want all of it so I've just put a little bit it's on. A little bit. Beautiful. Very dated in here. Look at the decor. It's like stepping back in time. What a potato. <laughs> I've just gone for a couple of cookies. I ate earlier at the park. Go on then Charlotte, what's the verdict? That jacket potato, to have a jacket potato after two weeks was really nice, but next time I just wouldn't have the bacon because it was really greasy on top. Oh, but you enjoyed it? Yeah, it was nice to have a jacket potato in my belly. Oh, you love a good jacket, don't They're you? They're literally my favourite food. I have them all the time <laughs> at home. Well, we've had a good look around Branson, and like I said, we filmed a couple of bonus vlogs for Theme Park Worldwide that will be coming up, so stay tuned for those. Um, but yeah, there's loads of things around here. It's not actually that busy because it's a weeknight. Uh, quite a few of the shops and things are closed. We would have gone into a couple of quirky like gift shops and stuff, but they are closed. Um, but you know what? It is nice around here. It's just quite quiet, but we've done a couple of attractions, haven't yeah, there's we? There's some great attractions around here. You could spend like a couple of days doing all of them if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, you could, and obviously when Silver Dollar City shuts at 7 o'clock, like it has done for us, it's been great to kind of come out of the park. We checked in the hotel, as you saw, and then do a couple of bits but uh, we've got another day at Silver Dollar tomorrow and the next time we'll see you in this vlog we'll be getting back on the road for the drive down towards Six Flags St. Louis which will be the park um, coming up next but uh, yeah we'll uh, have a nice night's sleep and we'll see you tomorrow and we'll get back on the road.
Well, we've had a brilliant two days at Silver Dollar City. It really has been absolutely awesome, hasn't it, Charlotte? Oh, we've absolutely loved it. It's been great. And yeah, we're back on the road now, making our way in the direction of St. Louis. Yeah, we're saying goodbye to the wonderful Branson and the Ozark Mountains. Yeah, we've got about a two hour, 15 minute total drive, uh, 147 miles from this point. And yeah, obviously we're leaving this beautiful area, uh, which has been really nice around here with all the scenery. Honestly, we've really enjoyed it. Of course, check out the vlogs over on Theme Park Worldwide from Silver Dollar City. Um, but yeah, of course, um, it's just gone seven o'clock, so we've got a couple of hours until it gets dark. So you never know, there might be some more nice scenery and any other bits to show you along the way. Wow, look at the scenery around here. Absolutely gorgeous all around the mountains. And yeah, these massive, long, but windy roads in between all the scenery and it's lovely tonight we actually had quite a bit of rain today didn't we charlotte we did the first bit of like proper rain we've seen since we've been here yeah there was a few little bits last week but uh, not much at all yeah we had proper uh, rain earlier on luckily we managed to stay inside and do some other bits but uh, yeah it's a lovely evening tonight sun just going down here in missouri yeah all the gorgeous mountains yeah lots of scenery around here it's very pretty so for the past like 40 miles we've been seeing signs for this candy factory and it's like 17 miles to popcorn and all this it <laughs> seems quite funny yeah literally we've probably seen 20 to 30 billboards a over lot. the course of like 40 odd miles maybe even more than that and it's coming up like in a few miles so after all that advertising i'd hope that it's over 24 hours well it should be we'll see but we'll, we'll definitely have a look but uh yeah we're literally a few miles from it. Beautiful sun going down just over here. Look at that. Gorgeous here in Missouri. Oh, that is really nice. But yeah, we're, we're going to pull in and have a look. If it's not open at uh, quarter past eight at night, what a way to all that advertising. Yeah, literally, we would we, we say, well, we'll pull in at these little bits. But yeah, this looks quite interesting. So we'll see. Wow. Here look we go. Look at this. So we've seen all these billboards for at least 50 miles now. Hopefully it's open, we'll find out, but we're coming off of this exit. Snacks and drinks, free chocolate This samples, looks fantastic. Clean restrooms are available. Look at the size of this. I can't wait to go in here. It best be open after all this, Charlotte. Look at this. Right, it's only 20 past eight. World's, World's largest gift store. Is it going to be open? That's the question. I don't think it is, you know. Let's have a look. I mean, the sign's all lit up. It's got to be, hasn't it? I mean, this looks fascinating. Let's, uh, let's get another look. Open, it says. Is it open? That's what it says on the door. I mean, it's got a gas station. Are we going right here? We must be. There we go. And then a left in here. And then a left. World's largest gift store. Over a hundred thousand items. In nine hundred. Well, this looks ridiculous. Turn this right. doesn't look. It look. Then it says open, around. but it doesn't look open. Candy factory. Well, look at that. World's largest gift store. It's got a mascot and everything. <laughs> there we go. Welcome. Zero miles. Where do we park? Right. Just, Just down, down the front. front. Yeah. Right. Open 10 till 5, oh, it's shut. Sure. What about the candy shop? There we go, candy let's pull factory. up. Candy factory. Candy factory. I love these random moments. I think this is open, but the gift shop's closed. Ah. Oh, look at that sun going down. Here we go, let's go have a look inside. Just been to the restrooms in here. I'll tell you what, they're fancy. Look at all this. It is pretty big in here, I give them that. And it's open as well. It's basically a gas station. Loads of sweets. <laughs> Loads of sweets in here. Notice a lot of taffy over here, they love that. Hershey's miniatures, I'd rather not, not a big fan of Hershey's. Root beer barrels, assorted rugs. We've got a big fudge selection over here as well, I do like my fudge. <laughs> M&M mix, Hershey's kisses. Oh look at these over here, the Lego bricks. That's really cool. And there you go, there's the factory element in here. Where it's all made, yeah, it'd be nice and fresh. All the fudge there. That's good. Strawberry cheesecake. Wow, that is a pretty gorgeous sunset. Well worth making the stop off just to get that shot alone. Stunning. Well, Charlotte, I didn't really see anything that took my fancy in there. I well, like the chocolate turtles. I can even see them. No, I'm not too sure where they were. No. There was a lot of advertising, but yeah, not much. It's no, just on the really. Sweet shop, really. Yeah, I think I've seen bigger sweet shops back home. <laughs> the gift shop would have been quite good. It was. World's largest gift still, but yeah, it's shut at five o'clock, unfortunately. Oh, shame. Let's get back on the road. <laughs> we're stopping off at though. And here we go then, nice easy drive and yeah we've made it to tonight's accommodation which is the Baymont Inn and Suites which is located in Roller for Roller Coaster. Hey, let's go and get checked in and we'll show you the room. 
And here we go then, just before we head up to the room, Charlotte's just putting in another wash just here. Get the laundry in. There we go, yeah, washing a bit along as we uh, go with this trip, it's make the most of it. To do that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, we've got quite a lot of clothes still, but it yeah. just stops us getting loads of smelly clothes in the back of the car. Fantastic. Laundry facilities. And we're all checked in, and yeah, made our way up here to the room. And yeah, here's the log. One of the more modern rooms that we've had actually, especially when you look at the headboards there and the nice lights with the USB fixtures in there and actually plug sockets built into them there too. Yeah, we've got two nice big beds. This is just, just the over American here. thing where you always get two beds in a room. Well, not always, but a quite lot a lot of the time. Do, we've had more with two beds than mm -hmm. we have with, with one, but uh, yeah, it seems quite nice. Big chair just over there too. And yeah, hotel wise, the locations that I've picked have worked great because we're literally staying like right next to the roads that we're traveling it's on, aren't we? It's so handy, like we literally come off the hotels there and then in the morning we just go back on. Yeah, like it's been nice and ideal. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with how the itinerary's worked out. Here yeah, we've got the TV over there, fridge, another desk over there. You're getting the, the same kind of vibes with these <laughs> hotel tours, but I always like to document them, show you them. So if you wanted to follow the exact routes, funny how the sinks in here, isn't it? That's yeah, a bit. I that's a bit different, isn't it? There you go. It's Look not at in this. the bathroom. Cafe Valet. Dark roast there. Mm. Most of these hotels also have swimming pools and also offer a free breakfast as well. Which is quite cool. There's your bath, toilet, and that's it. There you go. That's the room. But uh, yeah, we've got about an hour and a half or so drive, I believe, in the morning from here down to Six Flags St. Louis, which is going to be coming up next. We'll also get to see the Gateway Arch as well from a distance coming up in this travel vlog. Um, I did actually visit that back in 2019. I don't think we're going to go up it this time. We've looked at the opening hours and they don't really work, but uh, we'll get to see it. It's a huge archway, which is really cool. Oh, that's so. really nice to see. Yeah, definitely. Right, we'll see you on the road in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning. I had a really good sleep there last night, didn't you, Charlotte? I slept so well, like the best sleep of the trip. Oh, yeah, it was nice, that was. Nice and refreshing. And yeah, we're back on the road, a little bit shorter than I was expecting, actually. One hour, 18 minutes, 76 miles, and we'll be arriving at Six Flags St. Louis. Yeah, so, the bugs have appeared back on the windscreen. You might be thinking, why don't you just blow the water on it? It just doesn't clear them, they just stay. Yeah, look, there we go. Yeah, it just doesn't <laughs> stay. They just, just sort of move around, so next yeah. time we fill up at the gas station I'll be sure to clean it again. Yeah I'll probably fill it up tonight maybe if not tomorrow because obviously we're off to Holiday World tomorrow. Maybe I'm really awesome. looking forward to it. Oh back on the voyage but uh, yeah it's gonna be a great day we'll get some footage along the way. There we go another nice easy drive no traffic I tell you what we're doing well with traffic really we're not we really are, encountering which is much great. at all this trip there's a little bit around by Chicago and that's about all really. Here we go we've arrived at Six Flags St. Louis yeah my second ever visit to this park we'll get parts up and we'll show you the skyline. And we're all parked up here on the parking lot at Six Flags St. Louis. And yeah, it's another one that's $35 to park. Luckily, we got Six Flags passes. If you're coming and doing a trip like this and visiting multiple Six Flags parks, definitely get the passes because yeah, it's very expensive, isn't it? If you're paying every time. Every time $35. Yeah. To park. And then you can pay extra to park on this. <laughs> yeah, so definitely get your passes. Yeah, because you get the great value. Of course, we've got our all season drinks cups as well, which Charlotte yes. likes. <laughs> and yeah, nice and close to the entrance. It's not a massive park, this one, uh, but I'm looking forward to being back here. It's got a nice skyline when you drive up with all the coasters and then all the forest and the hills behind it, which is great. But uh, here we go. We'll see you later on. We're going to be seeing the Gateway Arch later. It's actually featured here at the entrance of the park. You can see a smaller version like a little model um, but yeah you'll actually see the real thing later when we're driving down towards our next park which will be Holiday World. Well we've had our day at Six Flags St Louis and you know what it's been a great day I enjoyed it much more than last time however it's been so hot hasn't it Charlotte? Oh it's been absolutely baking. <laughs> we've made the most of the air conditioning had a bit of a set inside and took it quite chilled out it's been really quiet so yeah we've got everything in uh, way before park closed which is great and uh, yeah back in the car then now we're making our way towards our hotel where we're staying tonight uh, which is 103 miles from this point one hour 33 however we're going to be going straight to the center of St. Louis and having a look at the Gateway Arch just there. Like I say, we won't be able to go to the top this time. I mean, I did that in 2019. It was a great experience. Um, but yeah, because of the opening hours and how it's worked out, uh, we won't be able to go up this time. However, we'll have a good look at it and uh, show you that. And along with that, we're going to get a bit of food along the way as well. But uh, at the moment, like ETA is looking at like 10 past uh, 7 tonight, which is pretty good, really. Not too late. Because uh, we've got an early start in the morning making our way to uh, Holiday World. But uh, yeah, we'll get a bit of footage along the way. We'll be down at the Gateway Arch shortly. 
Oh, look at that, the In world Harper famous Ryle, Gateway Arch. Use the middle lane to continue straight onto I-44 East to I-70 West toward Kansas City. Absolutely Then exit to the right. So what we're doing now is just uh, going to get a parking spot just down by the arch. They don't have any free parking around there, but um, they have got a parking garage, which is like $3 an hour just around the corner. So we're going to go and get parked up there. We'll have a walk underneath the archway and yeah, just have a bit of a look at that. That was nice and easy. Just parked up in a garage, which is only $2 per hour. Like, how crazy is that? That's not bad at all. See, it's out of parking. Can you imagine going to like London or Manchester or something, finding parking for $2 for an hour? But uh, here we go. About a five minute walk around here and we'll be at the famous Gateway Arch. One of Charlotte's favourite parts wait. about crossing a road. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so this is downtown St. Louis. Pretty quiet around here. Wait. Don't cross yet, Charlotte. Wait. And there's a look at the old courthouse here in St. Louis. I and mean, yeah, we should get a great view. A pan round to the left just here of the famous Gateway Arch. Here we go. You got this nice park. Uh, the front of it, and yeah, it's actually a national park as you make your way down towards it. There you go, look at that. So when I was here in 2019, I actually went up there, and yeah, it's a sideways elevator that actually takes you all the way up the side in there. And then if you look right at the top in the middle, you can see some windows. I stood right in them windows looking out. Oh, uh, you see them, Charlotte, up there? Yeah, it's quite tall, isn't it? it it's massive. It's over 600 foot tall, this. Like, you wouldn't think it. It's really hard to get the perspective, not just on camera, but also in person but yeah let's go and have a walk down underneath it and here we go much closer now and yeah like i say it's so hard to get the scale of this 630 foot tall that's 192 meters the world's tallest arch like it's crazy just the scale of it it really is and yeah, that's where you enter down there at the bottom it's about to close unfortunately yeah the opening hours are quite short even though for this time of year but still it's just nice to come and see it it's one of those things though, it's impressive inside to see the lift mechanism and the view, but really it's a lot more impressive from outside here looking at it in my opinion. Everyone's here getting the photos, lovely evening for it as well. It's one of them, you can see it perfectly fine from the road, but it's always worth just pulling up and coming and having a look, especially something so iconic like this. Remember seeing it on TV and featured so much in movies and that sort of thing, so it's so nice to come and see it in person. Now have a look at it, what do you think Charlotte? Yeah, it's massive isn't it? I didn't realise how big it was going to be. Yeah, it's huge. It'd be quite good to go up into the lift to see how it actually works. Yeah, it's like a sideways like, elevator. I was driving up, I said to Charlotte, I was like, well where's the elevator? <laughs> I it went up on a slant. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. You'd expect like a lift shaft in the middle, but obviously that would really destroy the, the look of it. But yeah, you've got this lovely park underneath, which is really nice. Gorgeous evening. And here we go, if you look at the people just at the side there, it gives you an idea on just how tall it is. And yeah, that's just the base on the right hand side there. Absolutely humongous. And the sun just reflecting it there. Yeah, I've got to say the grass down here is so nice as well, isn't it? So well cut, isn't it? <laughs> you find that with grass in America though. They do such a good job at keeping it by mountains. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And there's a look back towards the courthouse. Yeah, it's only about a five minute walk from that um, parking lot. Q Park, I believe it was called. Two dollars an hour. And yeah, it's just enough time an hour just to kind of park up, walk down here. There was a Starbucks on the corner. If you wanted to grab a drink, just come and chill and come and see it. If you're in the area, well worth it. And yeah, we're nearly directly underneath it now. There's not like a marker or anything like that, but I reckon that lady laying on the floor there probably thinks that's the middle. <laughs> Looking straight up. Yeah, I think she's got it about right. Let's go over here. Oh, there is something in the ground. Is that a marker? Possibly. Oh no, it's for like electricity and stuff, but still, it looks like it's right in the middle. Possibly. I reckon it is. Right here. There we go. Over 600 foot all the way up above us. What a structure. Spectacular monument to come and see. And yeah, in terms of construction, it was completed 57 years ago in 1965. And yeah, it's been an icon here in St. Louis ever since. And yeah, what an evening to just be here, soak it up, come and see it. And yeah, loads of people about, just having a stroll. That's what's really nice. It's in a big national park here. And you've got loads of areas just around at the side to chill, relax. And of course, with the big monument here in the middle too. Well worth stopping off to come and see. Spectacular to come and see, it really is. Here's another angle. 
more on the side here. It goes so thin near the top, or at least it looks like it goes thin, right up there. And yeah, like I say, it's more impressive from down here on the ground in my opinion. I did enjoy going up there though in 2019, especially for the lift system. And there's Charlotte. <laughs> that gives you a good idea on the, the scale of this and just the, the width of it down here at the bottom. There you go. <laughs> You're not climbing up, are you, Charlotte? No. I don't think you get very far. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Stunning. And what's really nice about a space like this is it's a long way away from all the hustle and bustle of a city, even though really it's just over the street there. But you know what I mean? It's just so nice just down here, chilled out, got the water over there. It's really important for these cities to have spaces like this where you can just come and chill out and yeah, enjoy it all. Yeah, what a fantastic monument. Yeah, really pleased to come and see it again. We couldn't just drive past it, especially with Charlotte never seen it before. I had to come down here and, uh, and check it out. See it up close because if you're driving past it, it just goes so fast. Then you get other buildings in the way or trees. Yeah, it's always better, just especially for getting some shots for you guys as well. Just parking up for the sake of a couple of dollars around the corner. Uh, well worth it. And we've seen it just in good time, actually, with the sun kind of shining on there too. But no, absolutely fantastic. We're going to uh, get back on the road in just a moment. And yeah, we've only got about an hour left of tonight's drive until we get to our accommodation. But like I said, we've got to be up early in the morning because uh, we're doing some filming and stuff with the park at Holiday world uh, so we're going to be up it's going to be like a 7 a.m get up tomorrow uh, one of the earliest ones of the trip actually we've done quite well for not having to be up too early uh, the good thing is we're not going to be at the hotel too late tonight maybe 8 8 30 um so yeah we'll be able to have a good sleep and of course ready for another action-packed day tomorrow the gateway arch st louis here we go then five minute walk back to the car garage and yeah it was two dollars just paid on card there but here we go crossing over the bridge and yeah, one final look at the gateway arch, just off to the right hand side there. There we go. This is nice, isn't it? Crossing over the river. Just here. three quarters of a mile. Keep right onto I-64 East, State Route 3 North toward Louisville, St. Clair Avenue. Yeah, really nice bridge. And that one's quite pretty too, just off to the right That's hand side. That's a nice side. one. Yeah, I like that. It's got a lot of character to it, hasn't it? Looks like it was recently maybe repainted or... Looks some... quite fresh, doesn't it? It does, yeah, it looks really nice. But now I'm really pleased we stopped off there at the, uh, the Gateway Arch. It was well worth it. And yeah, we're like an hour away from the hotel. So of course, if there's anything else along the way, we'll show you all. Well, I've had a nice drive there. Yeah, it didn't take too long. And Charles is doing another wash. Got to a routine of getting the windows cleaned at the oh, gas station. You're doing a good job. Here we go. I'm being lazy again. Just got the pump on, just like that, filling up. Put $40 in. I've not spent as much on fuel as I thought I would do so far. I spent about £160 on fuel. So yeah, not too bad. Oh, I've got to do the last bit. Bear with. <laughs> yeah, when it gets to the last bit, you have to do it manually and take it off the hook. But uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> we've arrived here at the Quality Inn at Mount Vernon tonight. So yeah, we're going to get checked in. We'll show you the room. Looks like a bit of construction going on out there. Oh, that was quite an easy check-in, that one. It went quite well. And here we go. Welcome to the room. There we go. Upgrade us to a suite, Charlotte. It's nice, isn't it? No, I didn't upgrade us, it just came with a sofa, nice but still. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice one. There we are, that's perfect for me sitting there. It's lovely, isn't it? Chill out editing. This is one of the best rooms we've had, actually, this one. Really nice. Really nice. I always look back on the 2019 trip and some of them hotels I stayed in. Oh my god, they were awful. Oh, no. You know, compared to, you know, we've upgraded yes, a bit this time. Nice. Yeah, I had to with Charlotte being here, I had to oh, go with something a bit oh, better. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we've got a fridge just down there. Another big bed tonight. Hey, big bed. We're in together tonight. <laughs> and yeah, you've got the uh, sink just over here. It's nice. I'm sure we stayed in another hotel that's got the four lights like that at the top. There we go. Bathroom and toilet in there. And yeah, we've actually just been to Walmart just around the corner. I've still got some else in my bag that we've got. Oh, here we go. Well, we've got some juicy juice just here as well. Some apple juice for Charlotte. Some Capri Suns just there. There you go. We thought they might be the orange ones, but the Tropical Punch, still, nice, still, still very nice. I got these, it was like $2.50 for a massive bag of grapes. I know it's hot and they're going to go off, but I'm going to scoff some of these tonight and also tomorrow because I'm missing fruit. I have fruit every day back home, don't I? I eat some of these tonight, which will be nice. It's just difficult when you're going to theme parks. It's really hot as well, you know. We'll see you um, these later. Yeah, I have some lovely uh, seedless grapes just there. I like how you get them in a big carrier bag, that's cool. And we've got some chocolate chip muffins just for uh, breakfast on the morning. In. So my icebreaker mint, we love these. These are perfect to uh, refresh off during our daytime visits to the parks. And also some Cadbury Dairy Milk, but don't be fooled. It doesn't actually taste like Cadbury Dairy Milk back home. And I'm going to try a bit in a minute. Because if you look here on the back, 
and we come down here to the bottom, it's distributed by the Hershey Company. You know my thoughts on Hershey chocolate. And over here, what have you got, Charlotte? I got these Jolly Rancher gummies. These are like 90p. How good is that? Back home in an American sweet shop, they'd be like I've five never quid. I've had these before. I've had Jolly Ranchers before, but not the gummy version, so I'm going to give them a try. There you go. Fantastic. Well, I'm just going to crack this open, and I'll let you know how it tastes. Mmm. Well, there we go. I'm trying it. And it's not great, to be honest. Like, just because it says Cadbury Dairy Milk on it, you think it's going to be, but I got tricked with this. First time I came to America, I thought, oh, I'm really missing my chocolate. I can get some. Oh, let me try but no, go on, try it. Tiny little corner. Have a go. That, like, that is not dairy milk. Look how thin it is as well. It tastes more like Hershey's. You can tell it's distributed by Hershey's. Like, there you go. It's not, that ain't dairy milk, is it? There we go. So, any Americans watching this, like, it's not as bad as Hershey's though. No, don't believe it. Like, come to the UK, try actual Cadbury's Dairy Milk. It's so it much nicer. So it's not, it's like, it's not, it's not creamy. No, it's not at all. Not but there you go, I just wanted to get that and share it with you in the vlog. Anyway, we've got an early start tomorrow because we're, like I said, we're doing some work with the park in the morning filming. So we're going to be leaving like seven ish, maybe just after that. So we're going to get some sleep. It's not that late though. I was looking at the time then. It's 11.56. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's like 9.30, something like that. Um, but we'll see you in the morning making our way to uh, Holiday World. Exactly. Santa Claus, Indiana. Pum, pum, pum. <laughs> See you in the morning. Well, good morning. Back on the road already. The sun is shining and it feels like it's going to be a hot day today down at Holiday World in Indiana. So yeah, we're crossing back into Indiana after like a week. And so uh, yeah, starting to make our way um, along, of course, with the route on this trip. Um, so yeah, we've got a total journey of 122 miles, taking about one hour and 50 minutes. Um, shouldn't really see much traffic or anything around here. I mean, as you can see, it's very quiet on this road. And we're following this for the next 106 miles down towards Santa Claus, Indiana. So yeah, of course, if we see anything along the way of interest, we'll show you all. And uh, yeah, we'll see you when we get down near the park. And here we go, welcome to Santa Claus, Indiana, the home of Holiday World and Splashing Safari. There's the sign just there as we make our way onto the parking lot. But yeah, a nice drive down here, very quiet drive. Not seen much along the way, but yeah, we're down here nice and early at the park. So like I said, we're doing a bit of filming on some of the rides this morning. You looking forward to it, Charlotte? Yeah, hopefully we'll see Father Christmas. Oh, here we go. Well, yeah, we are in Santa Claus, the town itself. When you're driving in here, there's like loads of Christmas shops and um, other bits as well, which is really cool. If you're wondering what that bing <laughs> was, just, it's been uh, happening for the past hour or so. We need some uh, water put in the screen wash. Uh, so we've got to figure out that. how to do it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll uh, let the car cool down and put some in. Probably after our day here, actually, before we leave, yeah. we'll uh, we'll put some in later on. But here we go, parking up just here at Holiday World. And what's great about this park is it's free parking, free sun cream, and free soft drinks all day. Love that, which is fantastic. But uh, as you can see, we're also at the end of this travel vlog, so we'll get parked up just here and we'll wrap it up. Well, there we go, all parked up here at Holiday World. And that brings us to the end of this travel vlog. We've seen and done lots along the way, haven't we? Yeah, I bought some crops. Hey, Charlotte's happy with the purchase. I did enjoy having a look around the outlets there, actually. Thought we want to see some things along the way, but yeah, that was great. Along with that as well, uh, of course, we went to Bath and Body Works there, oh, which is I good. Oh, I love Bath and Body Works. What a classic. I had a Raising Cane's with their famous chicken fingers, and that was a great value meal. One of the best uh, meals of the trip. I enjoyed that. I'm sure I'll have one again at some point. Uh, uh, of course, along with that, we made some random stopovers. We went to the uh, sweet shop, which uh, didn't really live up to all the signage, but it was quite funny anyway. We had some more hotels along the way. Um, and of course, yeah, lots of travel in between the parks as well. But uh, no, it's been another great video here on the Sandbrook Adventures. So thank you for joining us. And of course, as I've mentioned throughout the video, head over to the theme park worldwide to see all the different theme park vlogs um, from our trip. There's a dedicated playlist over there, as there is here on this channel too. And um, with everything here, uh, but we're going to be picking up the next travel vlog. We're actually heading into Ohio um, and Kentucky and of course down to Tennessee as well and yeah it's going to be uh, lots more coming up um, so stay tuned for that we've got Bucky's coming up which is a famous service station I absolutely <laughs> love Bucky's it is so good so I can't wait to go into another one <laughs> yeah we did it on the California trip on the drive from like Cali to Vegas so we've got Bucky's coming up which is going to be awesome Pigeon Forge Tennessee and so much more all coming up in the next travel vlog but thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own, own adventures. adventures see you in the next video